Hi guys, it's uh, Rin's Hex Puppet here. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the PTB that we just played with the twins. And I just want to talk a little bit about my ideas for the whole chapter and everything so far. So I had probably the best time playing a PTB um, with the twins uh, out of all the PTBs that I've played. Uh, extremely fun. Um, now there were a couple, couple quality of life changes that I like to see um, to the gameplay, but otherwise a really fun concept for a killer. So I just wanted to bring up the main ideas. Um, now, as you can see right now, I'm no longer on the PTB. Um, I, I have a lot of footage from that, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience. Uh, now, I was able to put on the DVD forums what I think about the killer, so I'm just going to basically read what I have directly from there. So. Um, I think the killer is great, very fun and exciting to play as and play against. I do feel there are a few quality of life things that would help um, with the killer overall for better for survivor and for a killer like as a good balance because right now um, there are some abusable concepts that are going around um, but here are my main ideas. So here are my two top recommendations for the twins. Number one, the locker issue is a big one, highly abusable, but here are my ideas. Um, this is a simple one, but this one will probably take a little bit more work on the devs part, is make Victor able to open or hold the locker shut for a short duration. Now that one might require a little bit of um, like animation, a um, little extra work on that part, but there's one actually really easy way. Um, the easiest way would be best for mind games as well, is to simply remove the audio and visual cue for Victor switching to Charlotte. This will make it so um, you can literally just hold Victor in front of the locker and either A, bait them to come out, or B, just switch over to Charlotte, but they won't know that you've switched over, so you can close the distance that way. Um, that one's probably the most fun because it it gives a little bit of a mind game potential on it and it's you know it takes away from the abuse and it also makes the survivor guess um also so that's that's my main idea that's 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 for the uh locker issue that's going around the other one is people holding on to victor now right now i don't see it as too big of a problem Mostly because of the fact that if you get Victor latched onto somebody and they hold him for the whole match, you just created a 3v1, which as a lot of seasoned um, uh, survivors, they'll tell you that a 3v1 is virtually unplayable. So um, it, it's extremely difficult. Um, so if the killer's smart, what they'll do is they'll just latch him onto somebody and they decide to hang on to Victor, then you just go and play, uh, go in and freaking get the rest of the other guys. Now, that's easier said than done, because you're still basically a, care, a killer without a power. But here is my idea on how you can actually change that. So when Victor is jockey, add two commands to Charlotte. Uh, command number one, hold M2 for the killer instinct. So it makes it so... Uh, like you're not required to hear the killer instinct all the time if Victor is on somebody however if you want to locate them all you need to do is hold M2 and you can have the killer instinct popped up for you at will and you can also let go of it same thing um, and give her the ability to recall Victor by holding control so those are your two commands while Victor is jockey and you are controlling Charlotte hold M2 for killer instinct hold control to recall now, if you do both of these two recommendations for the twins, um, which are these two controls, as well as removing the visual and audio cue for switching from Victor to Charlotte, um, I think that you won't need to do anything else with this killer. She'll be, uh, it'll be absolutely fun um, for both sides that way. Um, now, there are a couple other small ideas that I had um, going going with uh, like quality of life for the killers and it's basically talking about these things I I wouldn't mind if you didn't like incorporate them but I mean they might be they might like 
have a little bit more of a quality of life and al also a threat for survivors. So a Victor's Pounce should be able to break breakable walls, maybe even pellets too, but uh, no matter what, give him a vulnerable du duration. Uh, B, when Victor is crushed, make the survivor exposed for 15 seconds as a default. I mean, even if, like, 15 seconds is barely anything, but it's still a threat. So it makes it so, you know, they don't just kick Victor straight in front of you with no pallets around. Because, well, if they add that, there's, you know, it gives them a little bit of a threat. It even might even force a pallet down. And then the add-on that you have for it, uh, just increase that to 30 seconds. I mean, it is an ultra rare, so it should be powerful. So that's, that's not even asking too much. Um, C. While Victor is being con uh, um, excuse me, while Survivor is being controlled by Victor, uh, make the movement a little wonky, like almost like you if you were to run in a straight line, it would kind of like sway you back and forth a little bit, just to make it a little bit difficult. Um, also, um, this one's not this one's not too big of a thing, but you could also disable the fast vaulting while being controlled by Victor. Um, that one I'm not really too adamant about. And now this one, I'm, I'm kind of like, I feel like this would be a good addition, but uh, make it so where uh, when you, uh, when you are incapa incapacitated by Victor, uh, you should not be able to open exit gates, unhook, or leave through the hatch with Victor. Um, I, I guess when it comes to unhooking, you can that that's fine. You know, that you can leave that in, so that way it's not like too detrimental. But I, I think you should not be able, even if the gates are 99, you should not be able to open the gate if you have Victor on you. Um, there are also I wanted to bring up the little short uh, like oversight that they have uh, with, um, Victor currently, because it may, they say that, you know, you can't go through the exit gates with Victor still on you. However, all you need to do is just stay right at the edge of the exit gate. And then when she hits you, you, you get thrown out of the gate anyway. Like it's, what they could do is make it to where you can't even pass through the main threshold of it. So, you know, when you open the exit gate, the gate opens and you've got that little, little space in between. Um, and then you have the Blood Warden effect, they should just make it to where you can't even get into the gate. That would make it to where, you know, it's much more of a threat to have Victor on your back. Um, so uh, that's it for the killers, like for the killer power in my opinion. Uh, however, I do, I do have some ideas as far as the perks. Um, so let's go with uh, LOD. Um, Deception, absolutely fine. Uh, well thought out, um, good idea. Um, appraisal, the only thing I would do with appraisal is I would lower the rarity for the rummage to be at max a rare item. Uh, too many chances to find hatch keys is a bit too much because keys are extremely powerful. Um, power struggle, uh, although it is fine, but it, it is really underwhelming on its own. Um, the only thing is I can't think of any way to like really buff it because of the fact that it pairs really well with flip flop. It's it's another one of those perks, it's just, you know, boring on its own, but it can be very powerful with something else. Um, so yeah, those are those are for the survivor perks. Uh, and then to talk about the twins perks. Oppression, beautiful. I, I love the idea, absolutely fine. Hoarder, um, maybe to increase the range a little bit. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. Coupe de Grace, um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of this perk. I like the idea, but there are two things I would rather see with this perk. Um, either A, for each gen that's completed, you should gain two stacks instead of one. So that way you've got 10 long lunges. Um, if that, I mean, I, I don't feel like that's asking too much. Uh, but another idea also is with each gen completed, just increase the lunge range overall by 10%. So once all gens are completed, your max lunge range is is 50% increased. Um, so those are two of the ideas that I have for Coupe de Grace. I'm fine with either. Um, I just I don't think it's worth it to use it if you only get five five long lunges out of it. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically my all of my thoughts on the uh, the twins chapter. Um, um, well, I, I guess that's basically it. That's all I have really to say about it. Um, if you like, uh, feel free to uh, send a like. Uh, if you don't, let me know like uh, your ideas on it. Uh, any comments would be appreciated. And if you uh, enjoyed the, the video, be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much and have a good one.